Mike Alcoholic. There's a, what I heard out of the topic is uh, recovery first. You know, you got to do everything the first time in recovery. I, I remember the first time I played a game of pool sober. And you may laugh, but things like that to us really mean something. First time I went to actually went to a club and danced with people. Without drinking, that was that was weird as shit, dude. I'm gonna straight up tell you. And there was no monsters or Red Bulls then, so you didn't have one damn thing uh, to do up in there. Uh, so I just got up on that box and started jumping around, uh, you know. And uh, for a while, it was okay. But I tell you, it was scary stepping out to do a lot of these first. That I think one of the biggest first that that I think everybody could relate to uh, was uh, going to Florida the first time on a sober trip. Uh, and, you know, before it was how much can you stock up and, and you know, go down there. And it was the trip was, well, less about getting sunshine and more about doing something else. And it became more about getting in trouble. Uh, so me and a buddy, we were going to go on our first time to the beach, which to to us was a big deal. It was a little while ago, uh, but the concept is the same. And we were scared because he also had never done anything in Florida except get high. And we thought about the trip and we thought, well, I guess we could go to PC, which was the place to go if you wanted to do what we wanted to do. I wouldn't be caught there now, evidently. It's uh, gone downhill a little bit, but um, that was the choice, and, and we decided that that would be foolhardy. I remember going through this thought process, and the whole story is going to have a meaning when I'm at the end of it, because it ties back into recovery. So we decided that that would be reckless. So we decided to go to Gulf Shores. That's like going to Grandma Beach, okay? I'm just going <laughs> to spell that out for you. So we decided we were going to go to the beach and lay out with Grandma down there. Well, I was 22, so everybody was fucking Grandma. So yeah, I'm, pa I'm painting a picture. This beach was not the happening spot, but we were going to go to a beach. What I'm saying is we, play, we, we used a little common sense is what I'm trying to paint the picture. So we went down there, but we, as we all know, you can find drugs and alcohol wherever you go if that's what you want to do. So we go down there, and we're still scared, but we hit the beach, and we're, we're thinking we're going to camp out because we're going to save some money. We go to the Gulf State Park campground. I had a tent I borrowed from my dad. And you know what? That good common sense paid off because the big banner at the Gulf State Park campground resort, AA convention this weekend. Okay? Now, we had gone to CA and NA back then. I didn't even show up to AA to the early 90s. Uh, but we went, and we stayed, and it felt safe. And the, the moral of the story, and I'm going to tie it all together, and it goes into recovery just like this in every aspect of recovery. God showed up and put that AA convention that we didn't know. There was no meeting list. We didn't see no flyer. You could call it a coincidence, but I think it was a God incidence. Now, he showed up and showed out and made that first beach trip safe, but, but what else was a part of this story? We did our part. We put some good common sense into this choice. We put a little effort into this deal, and God did the rest. And that is just like recovery and every aspect of recovery. God's going to do for me what I can't do for myself, but He is not going to do for me what I can. And what I could do was choose the safest place to go and not be stupid. Because when Daniel came out of the lion's den, he didn't say, hey, fellas, let me go back in there and get my fucking hat. You know? So that would be stupid for me to go back to PC. But we went to the right place and we were rewarded for it. And I have found in recovery that time after time, if I sit quietly asking for the strength and direction to meet my problems as he would have me, and I do my part, he does his part. So I encourage and, and am excited for any newcomers that are doing their firsts in recovery. I've done all my firsts. This is the way of life for me now.
but the newness is there and I, and I encourage you to step out and take these risks and begin to build these recovery memories that you will carry with you the rest of your life, hopefully. Because this is about staying sober for the long haul. It's what it has been for me. I've had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps in our past. Thanks, Mike.